in January of 2018, Nintendo will be announcing their online service. And with this, I think it will bring not only a ton of apps to the Nintendo Switch, a lot more game announcements in the actual January Direct, but I think we'll finally see the long rumored virtual console for Switch. Now, I kind of want to just talk about my thoughts and ideas on Virtual Console, how I could see it working on Nintendo Switch, how I could see all these games being in a, a gallery for us to play whenever we want. Virtual Console on the Nintendo Switch could be a huge success, and I'm going to tell you right now why. Think about playing old school games wherever you want. All your favorite GameCube games, now you can take them on the go and play them wherever you want. All your favorite N64 games are no longer restricted to just your TV. These games can be played anywhere, and I think that's where Virtual Console will dominate. It will dominate the Switch, and I'm not saying it's going to take away sales from new games, because it won't, depending on how they do the, the service. But... It could just sell the system, man. It could sell the system. Why would I go and hunt down an N64 when I could buy a Nintendo Switch and play all my games wherever I go? It just, it makes sense to me. Not to mention, a lot of these older titles did not require you to be connected to any kind of connection. You simply start the game up and you're playing. You automatically are getting the most out of your game as soon as you start it up because you do not need to connect to online to play anything. Now, with newer games, that's not so much the case. If you want to get the full experience out of the game, eventually you will have to go over online and play some. But with these older games, that wasn't a thing. Online was not a thing. And I just think taking that aspect alone and being able to go wherever you want with the Switch because you do not need an online service for these games. You can automatically take them wherever you want and still be able to get 100% of the game right there and you would not have to get online to get the rest out of your game at that point. And that's why I think Virtual Console could be a, a hit on this system. Now, what you've been watching on screen is some concepts of how Virtual Console could work on Nintendo Switch. I'm pretty sure it will not look anything like this. Uh, I'm not saying it's bad or anything. I'm just sure it won't look anything like this. Plus, it's missing a lot of Nintendo systems right there. So I don't think this is real, but we could take a lot away from this video. And one thing, one major thing to take away is the fact that before you even jump into Virtual Console, it has a little circle down by your, your main settings on the like the Switch homepage, and it says Arcade. I feel like if they didn't replace the controller button with that, and they actually just added it alongside all the other buttons, this would be a perfect spot to put Virtual Console. It's easy to access at that point. You don't have to scroll through your thousands list of games to get to the virtual console, it would just be a perfect place for it. So I do like that in this concept. Earlier in December, we found out that Nintendo was putting Wii games onto the Nvidia Shield in China. Now, these Wii games are not ports. I repeat, they are not ports. These are remastered Wii games put onto the Nvidia Shield. What does that mean to you as a Switch owner? The Switch runs on a x1 processor the tegra x1 processor that is what the switch runs on and that processor is from nvidia themselves so for nvidia to be putting their processor into the switch and then nintendo turning around and putting their wii games onto the nvidia shield that shows you right that there that nintendo is trying to get their their titles to work on this processor they're trying to get their their games to run on this processor so that way when virtual console does become a real thing it runs smoothly on the nintendo switch and i myself man i cannot wait this this news right here was probably the most the most shocking to me because they put full-fledged 
Nintendo games onto an Android device. And this isn't like, you know, they cut the game in half or they're only giving you half the game here. These are the full retail release games, but they are 1080p. 1080p, no more 480p crap, n none of that, none of that. So, that is pretty much it, guys. Virtual console on Nintendo Switch. What do you guys think? Do you think we'll hear something in January um, during the direct on virtual console? I really hope we do. Not only that, but I hope we hear about more about the online and all that good stuff. But I just want to see virtual console. I want to be able to play old games on my Switch wherever I go. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys in today's video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Everybody new or old, hit the bell icon, and I'm out. Peace. I don't do